Hi everyone, this is Donald the Repentless coming at you from YouTube. This is the second episode of Life of an Inventory Auditor. It's, it's not going to be a serious episode. Um, I originally thought about titling it, you know, making it episode 1.5 instead of episode 2, which it's going to be. But this episode is called iCal 100R. Oh, I'm a geek. I really want one of those damn things. But anyways, I was doing some research last night. Um, well, going back, I was. There's a one website that's I'm going to reference quite a bit in this series because it's such an informational one. Um, it has a lot of information. It hasn't. For some reason, the guy who wrote this blog has stopped writing in this blog about 19, uh, 2009 or something like that. But I really wish he would continue to write in this blog of his because it is a good um, source of information on inventory and so forth. Well, I was looking at his his um, entry on the various devices used that he has used in his career. And I did some looking because I like the iCal. It's just, it's just the most simple of all the devices I've seen. Um, I mean, it's so simple, it can't even be, the information from the machine cannot be transferred to a computer through a, a link or even, but has to be entered into a computer from the device itself by hand. But anyways, I decided to look on like eBay and stuff like that to see if one might happen to be on the market. It's not, I mean, and part of the reason for that is because of the fact that this machine is still being used by some companies. And, you know, it's a simple machine. It's easy to use. I like the, the keypad design. That's one of the reasons why I want it. it you know, I, I'm not going to do inventories on my own. Um, I don't have the connections for that. But I wanted just to have it and to play with it every once in a while. Because, okay, I'm a geek. I, I'm, I'm silly, you know. I'm probably weird, but just the idea of playing with this thing and doing tin key on this this old fashioned type of machine. But anyways, one of the sites I came across was AST, which I'll probably get into more in a different episode because it's an interesting company to look at because it does produce um, machines that are used by like files, inventory, counting or whatever it's called, PICS. And other firms get their machines from this AST Incorporated. But anyways, I found out that the iCals are still being produced by AST. And I, and like I said before, I kind of geeked out. I said, oh my god, I want one of these things. I, I, I have to get my hands on one of these. You know, I haven't written or anything because there's no prices on their website. And you have to write or something. It's find an email to find out what the price is. And I'd imagine even a device as simple as the iCal 100R would be fairly expensive still. I mean, I can't imagine it being less than $100. But if it is, I definitely want to get one. So, anyways, this is just a brief episode to continue the series. And to show what kind of geek I am when it comes to inventory stuff, um, it's kind of a weird thing to be interested in, but I'm interested in it. So I'm making this series, I'm making these videos, and I really want to get my hands on an iCal 100. Or, well, no, not as much as the AC5, because the AC5s were, well, just read the Inventory Counting Handbook. Because it is a, it's an interesting blog. Um, like I said, it hasn't been added to since 2009, which is kind of disappointing. And I've kind of rambled on here for about four minutes now. So it's probably time to wrap this up by saying that in the future, I want to do um, histories of RGIS, um, WIS, and other companies. Which is kind of odd because it's, it's it's a lot of these companies don't have histories on have their histories on the websites, um, and in the case of Regis, it's weird because 
There's the official history, which will probably be used as my basis for the episode on their history. But I came across this website in Britain, basically an essay site where people post can post essays to this website. And I was looking at the at the essay this one guy put on there, or whoever, guy or gal, um, and I was like, wait a minute. Other than a few words being changed here and there, this is exactly what they have on freaking RGIS's website for their history. And I went to the RGIS website and I compared the two. And like I said, other than like changing a few words here and there, basically all this essay is is putting information from the RGIS website that is either still on there or has been in their past and just posting it as an essay on this website, which is kind of odd to me, you know, but that's neither here nor there. So anyways, wrapping this up, um, I don't know if I'm going to do a month on Saturday. I haven't yet decided what day will be the quote-unquote official day for this to come out every week. But I plan to do, like I said, a whole series on inventory because it's work that, it is the main work that I've done in my um, job life or history. So it's a very interesting subject to me. And something that I really want to do something on because there is this lack, like I said last video, of this kind of information on YouTube. So until next time, this is Donald. The, oh, be sure to thumbs up this video, share it on social media, subscribe to my channel for more about inventory. This is Donald the Repentless signing off. Be awesome, everyone.